Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss how to find longest common prefix among the given array of strings. Prefix is a substring at the beginning of any string, right? So you can see the array of strings here listed Java program, Java programming, Java 8 and so on, right? And we can clearly see the common prefix here as Java in all these strings and it's also the longest common prefix possible for all these strings. So that is what we need to output as the expected result. So how to solve this problem is, we'll pick up any one string from the array and read each character from this string and check if it is present in rest of the strings. If it is present, we'll increment a prefix count or if the character is not present or if the length of the current string, whatever we are comparing it, the character with is less than the prefix count. Then in that case, we'll return that string as the longest common prefix. So let's see this in terms of code now. Here I have a method which takes a array of strings as a parameter and returns the string object where we are going to return the longest common prefix for, all, for this array of strings. So the first, first thing what we'll do here is, we'll find out the array length here. If the array length is one, we don't need to do any comparisons. We can directly say the only element which we have it is the longest common prefix, right? So we can just return that. So what if there, there are more than one string in the array, right? So what we'll do is we wanted to pick up uh, one string, right? So let me pick up the first string and we'll find out the length for that string and store it in an integer variable. And we wanted to actually read all the characters from the first string, right? So I'll have index, some index here to actually uh, read all the characters from the first string. And this has to be run for all the characters, right? So till all the characters in the first string. And then this is actually prefix length. Right? Now, what we wanted to do, we wanted to read the character, right? So I'll read the character from this string. Strings of zero gives me the first string in the array and caret, whatever we used, prefix length, right? So this is what we used for the index. So with this, we get the character from the first string, each character. Now we wanted to compare this with, if it is present in rest of the strings. So for that, we'll have another index where we wanted to compare if it is present in rest of the strings. So you can clearly see here, what we are doing, we are actually uh, starting the index with one. So we already have the first string. So we wanted to compare the character read from the first string, whether it is present in rest of the strings, right? Now let, let's write the, that condition. So what's the condition? We wanted to check if this current character is, is, is uh, does matches with the rest of the strings, right? So I'm just writing the condition the otherwise. So if it is not present, caret prefix length is not present, Actually, we wanted to check the uh, equals condition, right? So I'm writing the condition the otherwise. So also what we'll do is uh, the prefix count, right? Prefix length count. So that has to be always uh, greater than the string length, right? So in that case also, we should actually stop the comparison. So what we'll do is string length This has to be strs is our array, right? Length also should be less than the prefix count. Or if it doesn't matches. So if either of these conditions matches, we can stop the comparisons and come out of the loop. Or what we can do is we can directly return the string here. Whatever was captured till here will be become the common prefix, longest common prefix. And how we are going to do that is we are going to pick up this uh, string for which this condition is met and then 
or this condition is met any of either of these conditions met this condition will be true and we are into the if loop and then what we'll return is the current string and how do we get uh, how many characters we wanted to read we'll read till the prefix count so this is this becomes the longest common prefix for all the array of strings what if uh, this condition is never met so this condition will never met if given array of strings are all identical so in only in that case this condition becomes uh, false and then we'll come out of this loop so in anyway this uh, all the strings are identical in the array right so we can return any of the string so i'll just return the first string now let's call this method from the main method and we wanted to provide the array of strings right so i'm going to provide the array of strings whatever we have seen in the example and this is gonna return the longest common prefix so let me capture it into some string object and then we'll output that object so let's run the program now and we can clearly see the output as java here right so for better understanding let us debug this uh, program so let me keep the debug point here and then let's debug the program and verify so you can see here the first length first length is uh, you can clearly see here first length is 11 so this one java program right and the first character is j right so it is j you can clearly see it here so it is compared with other uh, other strings rest of the strings so java programming java 8 we have other strings right so it compares it with those strings so this condition will never met and even prefix length will uh, definitely be you can see it here clearly prefix length is zero and each string is has at least one character in this uh, array right so even this condition will not be met let's see that now see so the comparison with the second string in the array is done and this condition will be false you can clearly see the index here i3 so even in this case also it fails so now the prefix count gets incremented so we have the next character from the first string that is a so even in this case also this condition will never met as we have a in all these strings right next comes character v you can see it here v so even v is also present in all of these strings so even in this case also this if condition will never met and finally we will have a j a v a even in this case also we as we have a in all the uh, strings so condition is never met and now you can see it here this time our character is p and we can clearly see here p is present in the second string but it is not present in the third string in the array we have eight here so in this case so it has to fail so you can clearly see here so in this case this condition will be false ch not equal to sorry this condition will be met will be true character will not be equal to the this uh, prefix caret prefix length and you can see the prefix length also right so it's now four presently it four and we can see the condition has met and we are going to get the substring whatever has been captured till now in the prefix length this prefix length index we use to uh, keep track of the uh, character right the common characters so now we'll use that to get the longest common sub common prefix for, so for that uh, how we are getting that is we'll use the substring function where we'll uh, wanted to read from first character till the prefix length you can see it here clearly so it get it returns that substring and now we are here and we can clearly see here we we can see the output here as java so this is how it works and so this is how we can find the longest common prefix among the given array of strings so that's all for this video thanks for watching